Today, I'm just gonna focus on the snacks that I've really come to like and that my daughter actually um, eats on a regular basis. My daughter is a super picky eater, so it's been challenging. I really think this will be helpful for anyone that really needs to have a gluten-free shopping list and it'll kind of alert you to what's safe and what's not. I really hope you find this helpful. We're actually meeting with a nutritionist tomorrow, so for those of you that are interested, I'll probably check back in about that and tell you how that went. What we do is we do a combination of Trader Joe's, Ralph's, and Target. So that's where we get all of our gluten-free groceries. My husband had just done Trader Joe's a couple days ago, so he got a lot of like the fresh goods, the butter, the eggs, the milk, the coffee. So this is not like a week's worth of groceries. This is more like stocking up my pantry and my refrigerator with some like items that I needed to have. So I just wanna be clear, this isn't a meal plan. This isn't like a complete grocery list. This is just me helping you identify gluten-free products for you or your kids or someone that you love that you're shopping for, okay? Before we go through all the groceries, I am going to take you through like how to identify a gluten-free product. It's really tricky. Even if it says gluten-free, and this has happened to me by the way, so beware. Even if it says gluten-free across the front of it, I always look at the fine print. This little tiny disclaimer. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's so small, so I'm always looking for this disclaimer. And like this one says contains milk. And if it says contains wheat, or if it says uh, may contain trace amounts of wheat, or made in a facility that processes wheat, you can't have it. Actually, when I rang this up, the person helping me and me were like, ugh. So $6.99 for this bag here in LA. Pirate foodie, kind of pricey, but the kids love it, and it's gluten-free. So this label, is really easy to identify because it says gluten-free, it's certified, and that usually tells me that this is okay if it has like a certified gluten. I always double check though. Okay, these are really great. My daughter got them in, um, let's see, I get them in the almond rice, and then I also, she also likes the cheddar cheese, and I like her to have a variety of flavors, so I got her both this time. I love these. These ones, I'm not as into the cheesy ones personally. These are good, they taste really good. I eat them with hummus, they're delicious. And right here you can see, this is a very uh, celiac friendly product. They know that's who they're making it for. And it says um, wheat and gluten free, and, and here you have the certified gluten free. So, um, and again, it has a disclaimer. So just to get in the habit, it says contains milk, almonds. So I'm gonna say that multiple times. And then she, my daughter, loves the cheese flavor. We have freeze-dried strawberries. This is also kind of pricey. So the freeze-dried strawberries are $3.49. So I don't always want to spend a lot of money on freeze-dried fruit when I can just buy it fresh and cut it up. But Gateway, moms out there, you know what I'm talking about? The gateway into fruits and vegetables. I don't know about your kids, but my kids are super picky. I mean, if I try to give them a vegetable just raw, it's like I'm trying to poison them. Here, my pretty. Next, we have the crunchy rice snack. These ones are honey and cinnamon flavor. Raleigh already busted into it, so I put it in a Ziploc bag and squeeze all the air out and seal it really tight because these will get stale. This one just lists the ingredients. They don't have a disclaimer for allergens. But if you look here on the front, it does say gluten-free. So this is great for my daughter, especially because she has type one diabetes. For those of you that might be dealing with that also, it's only nine carbs per stick. So she gets a lot of munching and it's under 10 carbs, which is a great snack for someone with diabetes. So this, I don't love it when my daughter tries to live off of these because she will, she loves them so much because they are processed and I don't love giving my kids processed food. But as a mom on the go and packing lunches, I definitely do do it, especially if she's getting low. This is a great snack. These are kind of hard to find, and I'm hoping they stock them more often, but these are the only ones that my daughter really likes, and they are gluten-free. Um, kind has a lot of great gluten-free products, so I love the Kind bars. Thank you, Kind, for being kind to us moms and making gluten-free bars that are healthy. Marshmallows. My daughter convinced me to get some mini marshmallows for her hot cocoa. This I have to do carefully because again, with type 1 diabetes, um, you really have to be careful of your sugar intake. But if she's on the low side and she's eaten a good dinner, I might do it as like a wintry treat. You have to look at the labels on the marshmallows. 
some marshmallows have gluten. I have made this mistake before myself. So she wanted to pick out these big white and pink marshmallows, and when I looked at it, it said contains wheat. So I was like, I'm sorry, those have gluten. So we went for the mini marshmallows. They're a little bit smaller and less sugary if you just kind of ration them out. Here we have sugar-free Jello. Um, I don't know that this is very healthy. My example of like why this is not healthy contains phenylalanine. As moms, we're like, oh, I'm giving my kids cancer. So again, like maybe don't give this to them every meal. It's for me right now, as I transition a four-year-old into a new diet, I'm allowing some space for unhealthy snacks if they work with her diet. So next year this time, I'd love to have her off the jello. Okay, now back to the healthy stuff. You're like, oh, what am I feeding my kids? This is amazing. I hope you can find it in your store. It's um, organic edamame fettuccine. It is so good. Uh, just follow the directions. It's super easy. We just eat it with like olive oil and some salt. Delicious. Um, sometimes if we want to like have fun with it, my husband and I will put truffle butter on it. Uh, my kids still aren't into truffles, so that's just for us, but we really enjoy it. And my son has finally tried it. So my four-year-old daughter has not tried it, but I believe in offering and offering and offering, and eventually they will try it. My son tried it, he liked it. The first couple times he didn't like it, but the third time he's like, okay, I'm down. This is great, gluten-free, high in protein. I got two boxes, we always have them in stock. It's an easy go-to side dish. Okay, this might seem random, but toothpaste. This one might be a little strong for your kiddos, but unfortunately my son is seven and he has two cavities forming. And I looked at their kid toothpaste, it is very low in fluoride. And here where we are in Los Angeles, we do not have enough fluoride in our water. So I was really devastated when he got a cavity because I'm like, what's going on? I've been brushing him since he was one and a half. We floss, not all the time, but now every night. And um, so I decided to go ahead and get just like a more powerful toothpaste. My kids spit it out, they're old enough to do that, so I feel good about this. Um, but you may feel, it says if you're under 12, like consult your dentist. So you may not feel that your kids are ready for this yet. But as you can see, this is very helpful for all of you with celiac or with kids with celiac. On the box, there is where, this is where it gets hard, gluten-free. So it took me, what, like 30 seconds and I had found it before the video. So sometimes you will find yourself at the grocery store staring at these boxes for a while. You look psychotic, I know, like you have your kids on a diet that they don't know what you're going through. You take your time, you find those labels, you find the gluten-free um, sticker. Me, like so many other people, before my daughter was diagnosed with celiac, I was like, I don't even get it. I'd see candy, like Smarties, and it'd say gluten-free. I'm like. Of course it's gluten-free, of course there's no wheat. And now that I'm dealing with celiac, now I'm like, oh my God, I was so ignorant that I didn't understand that some parents are fearing for their children's lives and they need to make sure that everything that goes in their mouth has no gluten. It's very serious disease and not many people know that much about it, but actually a lot of people in America are suffering from it and they don't even know it. So I'm just here to help spread awareness and like help you through this time of like transitioning to a gluten-free grocery list. So yes, eating your toothpaste, check for that gluten-free because it's going in your kid and your mouth. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, Bob's Red Mill. I did a lot of research on Bob's and I was really concerned because I, I read some accounts online from a few years ago of uh, people with celiac consuming this and getting their reaction. But I think they have since really made an effort. So it does have the gluten-free symbol. Um, so far, we have not had a problem with it. My daughter is symptom unaware, so she won't say, oh, my stomach hurts. So I don't ever really know if she accidentally gets gluten, but her first rounds of tests came back and after four months, her numbers are vastly improved. So, I, so whatever we're doing, it's working. We're gonna keep it up. Um, we love this um, flaxseed meal. It's got iron, potassium, a little bit of calcium. It has omega-3s, which I'm liking as a mom who wants my kids to eat healthy and uh, three grams of fiber per serving. So if your kids are like my kids, they're not eating enough fiber, they haven't even tried beans, I'm going crazy. This makes me feel good. I put it in the pancakes, I put it in the muffins, I put it in the bread. Yes, good stuff, love it. Uh, this is coconut flour. If you like the flavor of coconut, 
you're gonna love this flour. I also just put a little bit in. I will not do a one-for-one -one substitute. My, um, I don't actually think I have it in this particular grocery trip, but just one sec. When you have celiac or when your kids have celiac, you might find yourself cooking a lot from scratch. This gluten-free flour substitute, a blend of rice flour, tapioca starch, potato starch, whole grain brown rice flour, vit vitamin and mineral blend. Huh. So I've tried a lot of flour substitutes. This one for gluten-free is my favorite. It works one for one. If a recipe calls for like two cups of flour, I'll do a cup and a half of this, and then maybe I'll do a fourth of cup of this and some other like fun things like the flaxseed. So this just gives your baked goods like a little extra coconut flavor. So if you're a fan of coconut, I definitely recommend this. If you have picky eaters that don't like coconut, don't get this because you can taste it. All right, got more Jello. Raleigh picked out lemon. I'm always encouraging my kids to pick out new flavors. Even if it's something unhealthy, it gives them a chance to be in charge of their food and make like new choices. So I'm always encouraging that. I don't think they're gonna like lemon, but I'm like, go for it, girl. Vitamins, um, my daughter's doctor has told us, you know what, if you have picky eaters and they're not eating their fruits and vegetables, just make sure they take their vitamins every day. So I don't know how much it helps, but it can't hurt. Um, and then again, I always make sure the vitamins are gluten-free because it occurred to me one day that the vitamins may not be gluten-free and then I'm putting it in her body every day. So again, I look for a gluten-free label. So, so here it has a little disclaimer. It says contains tree nuts and coconut. So that tells me there's no wheat because it would also have a disclaimer for wheat. They have to put that in. Even if it's just trace amounts, you will see the wheat disclaimer. But I know, oh here. And then it also says here, no gluten or dairy. I have foil. You don't really need to know about that. Um, as you can see, in one afternoon, my kids have already eaten a lot of these. These are very popular. And again, I don't know if these are just here in California or if you guys can get them wherever you are. But if you can, these are amazing tortilla chips. Very loud bag. So these are a Cali Dad and I get the red bag. The red bag is the bag. Um, and the, right here, look at this, gluten-free. Being from California, I love Mexican food and it's so great because they use a lot of rice and corn which are gluten-free. So as long as you stay away from the flour tortillas and a lot of the spices, no Mexican restaurants because of all the spices have gluten, but if you're making Mexican food at home, it's pretty gluten-free. Now this is something I like. Herdez is, I don't know if it's just particular to here in California or here in Los Angeles, but it's pretty yummy and it's gluten-free. So here's, um, this is an area of being gluten-free you're gonna have to get used to. So for example, if you go into your um, spice cabinet and you do like something like this, there's a bunch of different spices and I'm pretty sure it's not gluten-free. So what you need to know is if you're going with just say a single spice it is gluten free and whenever you have like a combination of spices it's just safe to assume it has gluten but if it's an individual spice then it's pure and it doesn't have gluten they just process time okay or onion powder or celery or paprika garlic powder Ooh, you guys garlic powder this is the jam i do this on my roasted veggies and salt oh, so good all right, so that's just a little quick tip on the spices. One more thing here we got. This one is um, the oatmeal that we love. It's also Bob's Red Mill. Again, uh, Bob's is pretty good. I find um, so far we haven't had any issues with it. It is a little more pricey, so you can always get, um, do I have, I have, just a sec, I have some other oats. You can always get Quaker oats, just make sure it says gluten-free. Oats are naturally gluten-free. Unfortunately, they're processed in a facility that has gluten, so usually oats are just off the table. But they do make gluten-free oats, so I think this one's a little less expensive than this one. So this one, though, my family really loves the texture. It's a little bit more fine and like more like a porridge. Um, but this one, use it for the cooking. Like I really like making apple crumbles or cookies with it. So this one's still good to have on hand. I usually have both. I am gonna take you through gluten-free bread. <sighs> I'm gonna need to take a moment with the bread because I have to tell you, this is the hardest part for us because my kids 
love bread. What's not to love? Bread is amazing. It's been very challenging finding gluten-free bread that we all enjoy as a family. And honestly, what's happened is I just don't eat bread anymore. I eat rice, corn. My kids though, they love bread and they don't seem to notice. That's the good news. This bread is by far my favorite. I got it at Ralph's. This whole trip is a Ralph's trip, just so you guys know, here in California. So I know the prices and availability may change depending on where you are, but this is what I do and I hope it's helpful. Okay, Char, I believe it is. And I get the white bread because I don't know if your kids are like my kids, but if there's nuts or anything, like any identifiable object, they just won't eat it. So we're on the white bread. And whenever I go to the store, I get at least two. Other people must know about this bread because it's almost always out of stock. So I, whenever I'm there, if they have it, I grab it. We have tried uh, probably three or four different uh, brands of bread since my daughter was diagnosed. A lot of people like Udi's. I personally think it's really crumbly. I don't like that I have to keep it in the freezer. So um, this one you can keep on the shelf. I just keep it airtight. Again, it's not gonna compare to like real bread, but it's the best that we've found. So I really like it. Got me some vinegar. You don't need to know about that. I just needed vinegar. I was out of vinegar and I use it when I boil my eggs. We usually get LaCroix. I'm a huge fan of LaCroix. I think our favorite is berry and passion fruit I'm enjoying right now. If you find yourself in a situation where you have to go gluten-free, where you have to watch your carbs because you have diabetes, your taste will change. You will find your new go-to treat. I used to drink full sugar soda and I couldn't stand the taste of diet. I couldn't do LaCroix. And now a year and a half later, I guzzle LaCroix every day. It makes me so happy because it's completely guilt-free. They're totally natural. I can't say enough about this company. I love it so much. I hope they do really well and we always have that product available to us. I like to also switch it up and yesterday we got these. So sparkling water that is zero carb and natural are really popular right now and we decided to go with cherry. So we got this yesterday, cherry bubbly, boobly, I don't know how to say it. Um, I just decided to try something new. I let Raleigh pick it out. So you can see zero carb right here. So that's great for us. Carbonated water, natural flavor, totally simple. No mom guilt, so yes, loving the sparkling flavored waters. Every little thing, you guys, is so big now. It's like every little treat because um, it's a huge transition and hang in there, it is really hard. But I am here to help and hopefully you find this and hopefully it gives you support. Okay, you guys, these are uh, Sweet Lauren, bless you Sweet Lauren. These for a mom are a game changer. You know, it's Valentine's Day, it's Christmas. There's gonna be so many times when your kid is at school and all the kids are gonna have cupcakes, cookies, every, it's a potluck. I can pop these in the oven and 30 minutes, I have really yummy cookies and they're completely gluten-free and then my daughter has something to munch on and she doesn't feel bad. Like I don't want her to be watching other kids eat treats on a special magical day and she doesn't have something. And before I found these, I was cooking from scratch. So every time there was a holiday or an event or a potluck, I was like, oh, I guess I can throw this day away. I'll be in the kitchen cooking from scratch. These, they're individual. You put them on the tray, pop them in. They're so good. Um, our store has chocolate chip, and these are the sugar cookie. In fact, at Christmas time, I combined all of them, flattened them out, and we did Christmas cookie cutter cookies. I mean, ugh, bless you, Lauren. I can't say enough good things. If you like a product, buy all of it. Because if you buy a lot of a product, they will keep it in stock. So yesterday, I stocked up. I just find there's a lot of school events where I need them. So um, yes, good to have. I think that's it. I think I did it. I think this is the longest video I've made in a long time, so wish me luck. I really hope this helps you in your transition into being gluten-free. Uh, I know so many of us have to do it against our will. I was so devastated when my daughter was diagnosed with celiac disease. It was really just a huge blow, but there's so many things out there that make it a lot easier than it used to be, and I just hope this helps support you in making those decisions and like how to find those labels, because it really can be daunting in the beginning. Um, thank you for watching. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, subscribe. Um, we'd love to see you back in Super Cali land. I do a live video every Thursday, so come on over. We can chat. We can get inspired. 
Um, yes, I hope to see you again and thanks so much. Uh, I think I got everything. Bye. Sunshine.